The national flag of Argentina is a triband, composed of three equally white horizontal bands colored light blue, and white. There are multiple interpretations on the reasons for those colors. The flag was created by Manuel Belgrano, in line with the recent creation of the cocade of Argentina, and was first raised at the city of Rosario on February 27, 1812 during the Argentine War of Independence. The National Flag Memorial was later built on the site. The first triumvirate did not approve the use of the flag, but the Assemblea del o plus or minus o 13 allowed the use of the flag as a war flag. It was the Congress of Tucumán which finally designated it as the National Flag, in 1816. A yellow sun of May was added to the center in 1818. The full flag featuring the sun is called the official ceremonial flag. The flag without the sun is considered the ornamental flag. While both versions are equally considered the national flag, the ornamental version must always be hoisted below the official ceremony flag. In xylological terms, the official ceremonial flag is the civil, state and war flag and ensign, while the ornamental flag is an alternative civil flag and ensign. History the flag of Argentina was created by Manuel Belgrano during the Argentine War of Independence. While in Rosario he noticed that both the royalist and patriotic forces were using the same colors, Spain's yellow and red. After realizing this, Manuel Belgrano created the cocade of Argentina, which was approved by the first triumvirate on February 18, 1812. Encouraged by this success, he created a flag of the same colors nine days later. It used the colors that were used by the Criollos during the May Revolution in 1810. However, recent research and studies would indicate that the colors were chosen from the Spanish Order of Charles III symbolizing the allegiance to the rightful, and then captive King Ferdinand VII of Spain. Most portraits about the creation or first uses of the flag show the modern design of it, but the flag of Maca, a very early design kept at the House of Freedom in Suca, Bolivia was instead a vertical tri-band with two white bands and a light blue one in the middle. The flag was first flown, for the soldiers to swear allegiance to it, on February 27, 1812, on the Bortora a Libertad, by the Parana River. On that day, Belgrano said the following words. Soldiers of the fatherland, we have heretofore had the glory of wearing the national cocade. There, on the independence battery, where our government has recently had the honor of bestowing it upon, shall our weapons enlarge their glory. Let us swear to defeat our enemies, internal and external, and South America will become the temple of independence and freedom. In testament that you so swore it, say with me, long live the fatherland. Lord Captain and troops chosen for the first time for the independence battery, go, take possession of it and fulfill the oath you have just sworn today. Belgrano dispatched a letter addressed to the first triumvirate, informing them of the newly created flag. However, unlike with the cocade, the triumvirate did not accept the use of the flag. The international policy by the time was to state that the government was ruling on behalf of Ferdinand VII, King of Spain, captive of Napoleon cubed in, whereas the creation of a flag was a clear independentist act. Thus, the triumvirate sent a warning to Belgrano not to fight under the flag. But by the time the reply had arrived, Belgrano had moved to the north, following the previous orders that requested him to strengthen the patriotic position in the upper Peru after the defeat of Juan Jose Copyright Castelli at the Battle of Huaki. Meanwhile, the flag was hoisted for the first time in Buenos Aires atop the St. Nicholas of Bari Church on August 23, 1812, where nowadays the obelisk of Buenos Aires is located. Still not knowing about the triumvirate's refusal, Belgrano raised the flag at San Salvador de Jujuy and had it blessed by the local church on the second anniversary of the May Revolution. Belgrano accepted the orders from the triumvirate by time they arrived to Salta and ended using the flag. As soldiers had already made oaths to the new flag, Belgrano said that he was saving it for the circumstance of a great victory. The first triumvirate was later replaced by the second triumvirate, with a more liberal ideology who called the Assemblea del O plus or minus O13. Despite being one of the original goals, it did not declare independency, and so neither approved the use of a national flag. Nevertheless, 
the flag made by Belgrano was authorized to be used as a war flag. The first oath to the newly approved flag was on February 13, 1813, next to the Salado River, which is also known since then as Ra o Juramento. The first battle fought with the approved flag was the Battle of Salta, a decisive patriotic victory that achieved the complete defeat of Royalist Pao Tristamen. The flag would be finally declared the national flag by the Congress of Tucumán on July 20, 1816, shortly after the Declaration of Independence. The proposal was made by Deputy Juan José Copyright Paso and the text written by Deputy of Chucas, José Copyright Serrano. On February 25, 1818, the Congress included the Son of May in the war flag, after the proposal of Deputy Carrara N. The sun was copied after the one that the first Argentine coin featured in 1813. It was subsequently decided to be part of the regular flag afterwards, and thus the sun no longer represents war. Joseph Copyright de San Marta N was aware of the new flag, but did not employ it during the crossing of the Andes in 1817. Being a joint operation of both Argentine and Chilean forces, he thought that a new flag would be a better idea than using either the Argentine or Chilean flag. This led to the creation of the flag of the Andes, used in the crossing. This flag is currently used as provincial flag by the Mendoza province. On June 8, 1938, President Roberto Ortiz sanctioned the national law NAR 12.361 declaring June 20 Flag Day, a national holiday. The date was decided after the anniversary of Belgrano's death in 1820. In 1957 the National Flag Memorial was inaugurated in Rosario to commemorate the creation of the flag, and the official Flag Day ceremonies have been customarily conducted in its vicinity since then. In 1978 it was specified, among other measurements, that the official ceremony flag should be 1.4 meters wide and 0.9 meters high and that the sun must be embroidered. Design, popular belief attributes the colors to those of the sky, clouds and the sun. Some anthems to the flag like Aurora, or salute to the flag state so as well. However, historians usually disregard such idea, and attribute them to loyalty towards the House of Bourbon. Since the May Revolution, the first times of the Argentine War of Independence claimed to be acting on behalf of the Spanish King Ferdinand VII, who was prisoner of Napoleon Cube den Bonaparte during the Peninsular War. Whether such loyalty was real or a trick to conceal independentism is a topic of dispute. The creation of a new flag with those colors would have been then a way to denote autonomy, while keeping the relations with the captive king alive. Shape and Size From 1978, the flag's official proportions are 914, and its official size is 0.9 by 1.4 meters. It features three stripes alternating cerulean blue, white. Each stripe is 30 centimeters high. In the center stripe there is an emblem known as the Sun of May, a golden sun. The sun is modeled after the symbol of Inti, the Incan god of the sun. Flags with proportions of 1, 2 and 2, 3 are also in use. Colors, the colors are officially defined using the CIE 1976 standard, the following are given for computer, textile print and plastic use, the Spanish word celeste is used to describe the color of the blue stripes. Sun of May, the sun is called the Sun of May, because it is a replica of an engraving on the first Argentine coin, approved in 1813, whose value was eight escudos. It has 16 straight and 16 waved sunbeams. In 1978 the sun color was specified to be golden yellow, to have an inner diameter of 10 cm and an outer diameter of 25 cm. It features 32 rays, 16 undulated and 16 straight, in alternation and from 1978 it must be embroidered in the official flag ceremony. Influence of the Argentine flag The French privateer Louis-Michel Aurey used the Argentine flag as a model for the blue-white-blue -blue flag of the first independent state in Central America, which was created 1818 in Isla de Providencia, an island off the east coast of Nicaragua. This state existed until approximately 1821, before the Gran Colombia took over control of these islands. Somewhat later this flag was again the model for the flag of the United Provinces of Central America, 
a confederation of the current Central American states of Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua and Costa Rica, which existed from 1823 to 1838. After the dissolution of the Union, the five countries became independent, but even today all of these states except Costa Rica use flags of blue-white-blue -blue stripes. The Argentine flag also inspired the flags of Uruguay and Paraguay. Anthems to the flag, Aurora. Lyrics by Luigi Ilica and Ha Copyright to Cipriano Quezada, music by Ha Copyright to Paniza. Salve Argentina. Mi Bandera. References. External links, Argentina at Flags of the World, all anthems to the Argentine flag, more information, Dada la Bandera.